together for the one and the only and Sway! wants to play piano in a song, and Rob's distraught. He doesn't know what to do. What do you do? Well, I give him a simple answer. Borja Aloha. Which, which means, means Mike's at Starbucks. I play, no. Oh. means I play bass. Oh, right. Now, the reason why I'm playing bass, because we've lost Mike, you say Borja Aloha, He's Mike's at Starbucks. So yeah, Mike's all in the inflection. So Borja Aloha, everybody. Mike. Borja Aloha. Uh, just, just in case you... You're wondering, this is Richard Spade Jr. Hello, everybody. That gentleman right there in the really snappy ensemble is Robert Patrick Benedict, everybody. Thank you. I can't see at all, Rich. The uh, sunglasses really do the trick. This is, yeah, we do. There's a lot going on today that's different. Yeah. For starters, we're in a new town, which is awesome. In a new state that we've never visited. I personally have never been here. We've never been here. That means Robbie and I can dust off all the old crap and serve it up to you as new. You're welcome. Like we do, like we do. All we do is chop a little spam in it and poof, it's Hawaiian. I like how out of breath we are from fake surfing. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of sad, Rob, but I need a tank of oxygen to breathe back then. <laughs> so awesome. here's how we know we're somewhere different. Yeah, how do we know? I mean, this is... How many of you are experiencing your very first ever Supernatural convention? Okay, great. This will make no sense to you. How many of you are veterans and have been to many Supernatural conventions? This, this is for you. This, this, this piece is for you. There's something very, very, very different about what's going on at this convention. Something very, 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 very at its core, at its heart, completely unique. Is it Mike Borja's topless hat? No, sir. It is not. Which, by the way, defeats the purpose. Completely. <laughs> you can't tell that to Mike Borja. He's Borja Loha. He'll do whatever he damn well pleases. He's at Starbucks. No, there's something even more 
crazy. And there's crazy things happening, man. For example, you know, the, the karaoke theme. It's kind of a mix of all things plus Hawaiian. That's new. That's a mix. The Saturday Night Special happening outside, Robbie. Right. In, in conjunction with Fire Dancers. Fire Dancers. Which I can't wait to see and, oh. not, and not participate in. It's going to be... Tomorrow night's going to be amazing. It's going to be uh, concerning, I think is the word you're looking for. What else? What else is it? Let me tell you what's crazy. Have it's you guys a, figured it out? I'm wearing a loud swing shirt for the first time. That's not true. I've worn it. You know what? You know what also is exactly the same? Rob being a giant b-hole in the opening. That's... <laughs> you can synchronize your watch, Rob. <laughs> being a <laughs> total b-hole. He's being a borhaloha hole. Um, which means he's an asshole at Starbucks. Um, <laughs> What else, Rich? What could it be? I can't. Does anybody know what the giant change is? The, the, the mystical newness of the Hawaiian convention? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not calling on you. What is it? What is it? Hi, Say it loud. There's a live effing tree on stage. Yeah. Yes. It's crazy. We, we've never had... Rob said this tomorrow. He came to the sound check. And he goes, he came backstage. He goes, Richie. I said, hey, Robbie. He's like, Richie. What's up, Baba? Dude, have you been on the stage? No, I haven't been on the stage. What's going on? Dude, the decor. There's a live tree on stage. And of course, I was like, okay, okay, Robert. <laughs> All right. Good one. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, I was like, no, seriously. There's a live, a live tree. It's They've the, taken the model that they have carried with them for since 1973. We started doing supernatural conventions, and those are the same trees we started with, minus the green ones. But they were never green. They were never, they weren't alive in 1973. They were dead, and now there's living, and now they're living trees. Robbie, the green, the green. They're decorative baskets, Baba. I know. Decorative baskets. That's how you know it's special. It wasn't even just a tree. <laughs> there's a tree. They said, you know what? Know what? We're gonna spring for the basket. Hashtag spring for the basket. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what else is green? And they may not be able to tell this. Our stage here. It's covered in green material. It's like a virtual putting green. And here we go. Ooh, nice shot, Richie. Thank Ooh, you. just missed it. Ah, uh, it's funny. I saw it go in. Anyway. <laughs> um, way, way to the right. In, in your imagination, I fail. <laughs> and in my imagination, you're a butthole. Um, this is, we have a putting green for a stage. We have living trees. We have... The most lifelike robot in the business over there on the bass guitar. Bora Aloha himself. It's just an, it's an amazing, it's an amazing weekend. This is teeing off what's going to be a, a, a crazy, I don't know if this should be like a concerning, like, you know, like, like what's, old, what's old is new again, meaning if they can bring in green plants, can they replace Robin Rich? The answer is yes. There'll be younger guys here that's, tomorrow. That's I inevitable, know. right? At some point. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, gonna give we're us knocking on death's door, I mean, yeah. eventually. But, uh, I don't know, buddy, I would not get your hopes up that it's going to be like this. I think this is a Hawaii-only thing. Yeah, Hawaii, okay, well, there you go. You're welcome, Hawaii. You get the Hawaii-only treatment of living trees, putting green, and borja aloha. I, uh, my other favorite moment of this morning was uh -huh. when you came in, and, uh, stage manager Liz was setting up the stage. Yeah, like she does. And you walk in, confident rich, and you go, Mahalo, Elizabeth. Mahalo. Said, okay, what is that? I did something wrong. What does mahalo mean? You wanted to say aloha. Yeah. Hello. And I said mahalo. Thank you. No, what I was trying to say is mahalo leg was getting stiff. I was uh, like, ah, that's what it is. You, you let me finish my. A lot of people don't know about your hollow leg. <laughs> it's why I'm not so nimble on stage. That's why I let you and Matt Cohen do, it all, do all the fun stuff. That's what it is. No, okay, I screwed up the language, but I'm trying, Robbo. I know, you're trying. I'm going to the old college try. Hey, I know two words, as opposed to your one. They are? Mahalo and aloha. <laughs> you forgot one. Borja aloha, thank yeah, you very I much. I know three. Speaking of borja aloha, let's meet the gentlemen who are not at Starbucks, but instead they're on this stage. They form in aggregate a rock and roll ensemble we like to call Loud and Swain. They're over here to my left. Let's meet the boys in the band. <laughs> the pineapple on the pizza. Drummer Stephen Norton. That's the only analogy I have, so I'm going to use that for everybody. The pineapple on the pizza. Bassist robot, Mike Forha. <laughs> Have intercourse.
lunch with your wife and had a beard and didn't give a shit about what you thought about anything, why that can of spam would be a guitar player and we'd call him Billy Moran. <laughs> Where's the fire? It's Hawaii. We're all chilled out. There's a little thing down here called Maui Wowie. I I don't know what it is, but Rob filled his suitcase with it. He said he's they're Christmas presents. I don't know. I don't know what that is. How are you gonna give that away? It's some kind of plant life. Here we are in Hawaii, just chilling out, man, with the Hawaiians. You want a Mai Tai for lunch? Oh, yes, indeed I do. Thank you very much. Do you like pina coladas? And getting caught in the rain? <laughs> Smell the ocean with a taste of champagne? Second time he's done that this weekend. <laughs> Ironically, I, I like making love at midnight in the dunes of the Cape. But maybe I'm the host you're looking for, right, to me and escape? You know what I'm saying, Mama? <laughs> Turned out it was my own lovely lady. Anyway. I'm going down the rabbit hole of the Pina Colada song. But <laughs> Robbie said, he said to me, he goes, do something that the kids can relate to. And so immediately I thought, the Pina Colada song. It's all the rage with the youngsters. It's in the top 40. <laughs> it's, the, it's in the top if you're over 40. Um, Casey Casey was talking about it this week. Yeah, man, we're just chilling out, though, dude. This is like a whole thing. Stephen Norton got here, had a nice romantic walk on the beach, soaking it up, because he's, you know, swinging. Unhindered, untethered, had food poisoning, like so a real rock, rock and roll. Guy. He was tethered for a while to the can, thanks to those, uh, <laughs> those, uh, Steve came in early, had a little food poisoning, had a look around the city. I tell you that, uh, he, he went and those, those fish tacos said aloha real fast. <laughs> they said, they said, oh, aloha, and then aloha. And so he was tethered to the can. Saying, no mahalo. There's a no mahalo. Uh, however, other than that, man, he's just a freewheeling drummer in a rock and roll ensemble here in Hawaii, playing a rock and roll show. You know that stupid wife and kids, man. Stephen freaking Norton. Hashtag Stephen freaking Norton. Hashtag walk on the beach. Hashtag didn't bring sand to the beach. Hashtag, hashtag tied to the can. <laughs> Hashtag did his Jackson Pollock imitation all night on that toilet bowl. It's a long hashtag. <laughs> Kids, if you don't know who Jackson Pollock is, get something to Google right. later. Don't even look at it. You don't want to know. <laughs> Took the robot out. <laughs> I you know we, we set the robot on understand sophisticated comedy. That's why he got that. Yeah, man, but like I think with this this whole weekend is about channeling channeling your inner Norton. That's what it's all about. Minus the poop fest. Skip the prairie to poo and the other stuff. The untetheredness, the looseness, let's freeze them. Let's all tap into our poop-free inner Norton. So it's our we're all gonna tap into our post-poop inner Norton. That's what we're here to do. Hashtag Food Free Norton. Hashtag <laughs> That's what we're doing, man. He's living, but I live vicariously through him after the poop. Truly. Because he's out there. Romantic walks on the beach. Sunset, sunrise, whatever. Donut, sure. Stephen Norton. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> think, I'll, think I'll go snorkeling. Uh, how many? Uh, there's only one more seat in the boat. I'll take it. There's only one of me. I'm Stephen Norton. <laughs> I can do what I please, when I please, with whom I please to do it. I am Stephen Norton. And if I so please to do it with you, I shall. And when I'm done, I might say aloha. And on Wednesday night, he was like, raw meat? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I'm Stephen Norton. I'm just saying here, everybody, this is a dawn of a new con. We are here in a new city doing a new thing, and we need to try something new. For Robbie, it's a different strain of marijuana. For you... <laughs> It's gonna be your. <laughs> now who's the B hole? I thought I was always. I thought I was the A hole. I thought that was the order. Oh. A hole, B hole. Yeah. So, We're just doing alphabetical order. Got it. You're the A hole. I'm the B hole. -hole. So even when it comes to A holes, I'm not. I'm not even an A hole. <laughs> no, sorry. You, I'm, you take, I'm runner up. You, you take a back seat to the A hole. <laughs> 
You know what? Okay, I'll take it. You truly are the beehole to my a hole. Yeah. You're behind me. <laughs> a lot of people are out there wondering why all the fecal humor? <laughs> why are you making it dirty, Rich? Hey, man, don't ask me. Ask uh, Tuna Tartar Norton over there. <laughs> he did it. He started it. But now I get it. I mean, sure, I'm an a-hole. Robbie's a b-hole. But Norton's just a man with a dream. Time on his hands. Fold money in his pocket. Play your cards right, ladies. Or fellas. Or all of you. He's Stephen Norton. He casts a wide net. <laughs> He's trolling for fresh bait, for fresh catches of the day. Stephen Norton, you might end up on the Daily Special. You know what I'm going to say to you now on behalf of him? You're welcome. You're welcome, Hawaii. We imported a fresh batch of Norton for you. And that's what we're doing. And that's what I challenge you to do this weekend, all of you, as we experience something new, as we experience a putting green for a stage, as we experience live trees on the stage for the first time ever. I want you to stop, stop giving Billy that unholy look you always give him that makes him so confident and cocky. You always stare at him and think, ah, oh, what I wouldn't give. Well, you know what? Put a pin in that thought. Because today, I want all that passion aimed at Mr. Stephen Norton. This is Stephen Norton's weekend, everybody. Hashtag. Hashtag. Inner Norton. Hashtag. Post poop Steve. Hashtag. Release the Steve. I said it. I said it right now. Release the Steve. By Sunday, I want you to have released all of your Steves and you're living in a world where you are Steve or you're not Steve, whatever. You're surrounded by whatever Steve you want. Whatever Steve means to you, you've embraced that Steve. Maybe it's the real Steve and you're embracing him. It's going to make it hard for him to play drums, but so be it. I don't care. This is not about Steve. Steve, don't make this about you. It's about them being you. This is not your thing. Don't try to hijack this, okay? Just back the fuck off. This is about you people. Tapping into your inner Steve Norton. That is what we bring to you as members of the band and hosts of this great event. We are here for you. And you, people, get this gift from us. Why? Are we contractually obligated to give you free stuff? Hell no. We're going to charge the shit out of you for everything. No, we do this for one reason. One reason only. And that is because you, all of you people, veterans and new people alike, gathering in this room right now, Young girls who are fans of the show and your parents who don't know who I am, why they're here, or why they spend so much to be in this room. For all of you people, I say, you are my sanctified, anointed, Friday people. That is who you are! And that is what you do for me, and that is what we do for you. We are all gathered together to get our Steves out. We are going to Steve the shit out of this weekend. We're going to do it right now, boys. Let's surf our face off. Here we go! I'm excited about this weekend. We got a great thing planned for you. We're excited to be here. We, this is all new, all fresh, exciting stuff. We got the concert tomorrow night outside, which is going to be amazing. Tonight we have the karaoke party, which is going to be ridiculous. All of you Friday people are going to get in touch with your inner Steve Norton and release the Steve, and I'm so excited to see what that looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start right now with a man who is so fired up to release his Steve, he can barely contain himself. You know him, you love him, you probably bought his album, Mr. Gil McKinney! <laughs> Tell you 
something right now. Gilbert Kenny was backstage. He was wearing long pants. And he heard me talk about release your inner Steve, and he cut those pants into those shorts. Yeah. That's an example of this release is, Steve. This is actually a first. Uh, first time ever wearing shorts at a convention. I think it was a good choice. You guys, really you guys had a visceral reaction to Steve's calves. I saw you. These are, yeah. uh, these are George's. I get it. I had to say. Guys. Steve's calves or Gil's calves? Huh? Oh, Gil's, Gil's calves. No, you Gil's said calves. Steve's. Yeah. It, well, Steve. we're all the same we're all Steve. view. We're yeah. all the same view. That's cool. That's uh, only advice for Steve. I thought I was going to be the only one wearing this shirt. <laughs> That's what you guys told me, we right? We talked about this. We said that we would, all of us would wear them at the same time. <laughs> 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 I must have not been listening to you. <laughs> it's a great shirt. I'm so glad that I'm wearing it. <laughs> You're not in sales, are you? No, it is a great shirt. Uh, my wife was like, what is that? I was like, it's Borja. Borja Doha. And she said, who's Borja? And she said, who's Borja? I was like, that, that guy. guy. She was like, oh yeah, that guy. Oh, the robot bass player. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Ladies and gentlemen, Gil McKinney. Oh, you're leaving me. Yep. You're leaving me. Borja. Love you, dude. Aloha. I felt like I was a part of something really special, you know, and like I, they did all these extra things outside of working on the show, like they would have Christmas parties and just, I don't know, everybody would get together all the time and it was, it was, felt very much like being part of this family and um, a lot of the crew there were 15 seasons of ER, which Supernatural may do as well. Um, a lot of that crew had been together since the pilot, you know? So it was fun to get to be a part of that. So the reason I bring that up is working on, even just doing two episodes of Supernatural, I kind of felt like I was a part of the family, you know? Um, yeah. And I probably didn't realize it at the time, but like, that's Jared and Jensen. I mean, I think they set the tone. You know, it starts at the top and then everybody else, you know, they set the tone and the rest of the cast and the crew kind of, you know, goes with it. It's like such a fun working environment and uh, they really are like two of the luckiest guys I know as far as acting goes. I mean, to get to land that show and uh, to be on this ride that they've been on, it's really, really special. I mean, not many actors get to experience it, so I'm just so grateful to get, you know, a piece of it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hello. Um, I know it's been a couple of years, but I was wondering what it was like on Party Monsters that you guys did that kind of didn't go anywhere. But I mean, the yeah. stuff we saw was cool. Oh, you saw some of it? Yeah. Did you did. did you back the Kickstarter yeah. on that one? Yeah. Um, it was fun to work on. So for those of you that don't know what she's talking about, uh, Party Monsters um, was a I believe Chad Limberg uh, did a Kickstarter with a friend of his. Um, um, named Tyler Requa, who's a director, writer, and director, and so they did a Kickstarter, and a lot of you backed it, and uh, it's called Party Monsters. And then Chad came to me and asked me if I would be in it, and uh, he sent the script to me, and I was like, absolutely, it sounds like a lot of fun. So we shot this pilot about a year and a half ago now, I think, and uh, it's not totally dead, but I don't know where they're at in the process. It's, it's really hard to sell it's really hard to sell something, I mean, to be honest with you. The, the premise of Party Monsters is great. It's a great idea. Um, we shot the pilot, I think, in like three days, and which is not much time to shoot, you know, 45-minute pilot. Um, but it's basically like, uh, the way I, I, I describe it is, it's like Entourage meets uh, Penny Dreadful. <laughs> so, but it's more like Entourage. It's, it's, it's kind of like silly and crass and fun, but it's four guys who live present day in a castle in the Hollywood Hills. And uh, they are, the four guys are Dr. Jekyll, which Chad Lindbergh played, and also Mr. Hyde, and um, Dorian Gray, Frankenstein, and the Phantom of the Opera. So I played the Phantom. And, uh, and it's fun, I mean, it's not serious at all, but like, the Phantom's just like, just so moody and brooding all the time. And I had like four different masks that I would wear, depending on the uh, occasion or mood. Um, but I'm just so in love with this girl named Christine and I just want her to come over to the castle so I can play music with her. And she's not into me, you know, and she's like into my friend. And <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Uh, but it was so fun to work on. And, uh, <laughs> 
I got to play the piano a little bit and sing a little bit, and um, so we yeah, so we shot this pilot, and and I know that they're close to it's close to being done, and now they're just trying to shop it around, and trying to get someone to like want to make more of them. Um, but you never know. I mean, it's like you, I mean, you see how hard these things are. I mean, Kings of Con, how great is Kings of Con? Like, I mean, that's one of the one of the funniest things I've ever read in my entire life, or ever gotten to be a part of. It's like, can we please find it a new home? Because I would love to continue to get to play Chip, yeah. um, and to get to work with these guys. I mean, so fun, so fun. Um, so we'll see. Thank you for for backing it and yeah, asking I hope about it. it. Does something. Yeah, I hope, I hope that they can do something with it, because um, I think it is a special idea. It's just, um, I saw kind of a rough cut of the pilot, and uh, yeah, it's just, it's a little rough. It, it, but that's what happens when you try to shoot something in three days for, I think, I think $50,000, which is a lot of money, but when you're shooting like a TV pilot, that's not much money, unfortunately. Um, but everybody worked really hard on it, and uh, hopefully it still has life. Thanks. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Um, I wanted to know your most ridiculous story from backstage. <laughs> most ridiculous story from backstage? Oh, man. That's, that's one I need to think on. Um, there's been a lot of... This, this has been a really fun, uh, fun few years for me. I mean, I have not... Thank God for this, this thing, because I, I have not laughed this hard in a long time. Um, some of the funniest people I've ever met, Richard Spade and, uh, and, and Rob Benedict, two of the funniest guys I've ever met. We all have fun. We all have fun backstage. I mean, I guess I would uh, I'd have to say some of the costumes that we've worn at karaoke can get pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, yeah, I found myself wearing like a, uh, a red Unitard. Uh, what is it called? Strongman. Yeah, strongman. Unitard. Yeah, the strongman, the red spandex thing. Found myself wearing that out on stage one night. It's like this is a terrible decision. <laughs> I don't know who talked me into this. Good thing nobody's recording. Good thing cameras aren't allowed. Wow, I don't know. I'm sure there's there's some story that's going to come to mind. Hmm. There's one that Richard actually loves to tell. Uh, <laughs> karaoke one night. I think it was Denver, 2015. <laughs> uh, Osric Chow came out dressed as Big Hero Six, and uh, I'll, I'll let Richard tell it. But I got a little. I don't know. I danced a little aggressively with, with Osric in his costume. That's all I'm gonna say. I might have popped the costume. He had like this inflatable Big Hero 6 costume on and You know Osric, Osric loves to cosplay. He was so excited for this one. And he, it lasted maybe 30 seconds. So yeah, I don't know, we'll see if Richard might want to tell that story. He, he likes to tell it. Um, yeah, karaoke, that's where a lot of these stories happen, so... Uh, you guys gonna come tonight or what? This is, a, this is a good karaoke stage. I feel like, like some trouble could happen up here. Um, we'll do our best to behave ourselves. Um, yeah, we have fun. I don't know that I can tell a lot of the stories. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Hey, Gil. What's up? What's your name? Sammy. We uh, met at uh, Chicago. Didn't I care. remember you. Yeah, Sammy. yeah. <laughs> so getting back to the karaoke part, um, I just want to know, what is, it's a two-part, what is your go-to karaoke song, and what's a karaoke song that you would never, ever, under any circumstances, sing? Wow. That I would never, ever, under any circumstances, sing. Yep. It would be "Let It Go" from Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> never under any circumstance. <laughs> um, and then my, you know, I've got a couple. Uh, I got a couple go-to songs that I I've done. Um, 
And I'm trying to come up with some new ones just because just to keep things fresh. But um, there's a song by Billy Vera and the Beaters. Do you guys know who Billy Vera and the Beaters is? Few yeah. of you do. <laughs> it's like, what did you think I would do in this moment when you're standing before me with tears in your eyes? I like that one. That's, a, that's one of my go-tos. That's, uh, I think I actually sang that song. That was at one of my first conventions ever. I think it was at maybe my second convention. It was before the Saturday Night Special became the Saturday Night Special. When I first started doing these shows, it was just called like the Cabaret, or like, it was like a talent show kind of thing. It's evolved quite a bit. The first time I sang for you guys, it was, I was, uh, a couple times actually was with a background track. First time I was in DC, I had a background track for uh, John Legend, All of Me, which I still, I still think, I still think is the most viewed uh, video of me on YouTube. Um, not that I checked that sort of thing. <laughs> Somebody told me. Somebody told me. I don't know. They could be wrong. Um, but then I sang, I sang uh, at this moment, which was that Billy Bear and the Beater song. I sang that and, and something else. Uh, I think was it Sam Smith. Um, I think I did Sam Smith with the band though, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. I did I did that Billy Bear and the Beaters song with the background track and I remember I was like, it's it's kind of like nerve wracking to sing with the background track because if you screw up, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, it's like you better know that, you better know that track really well to get back on. But I remember being like kind of nervous, it was only my second show and I sang that song and it was going really great and I was almost to the end and then all of a sudden Misha like came out. <laughs> I was like dancing around the stage and like hugged my legs and I was like <laughs> trying to hit a high note. <laughs> so weird. So weird. Um, anyway, he hasn't done that since. So good to see you, Sammy. Yeah, thanks, Gil. Hey buddy, I'll see you later. Hey. Hi. What's your name? My name's Maddie. Hey Maddie. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the highest note I can hit? Well, I'm not going to try, because that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Um, that's a good question, you know. I, are you a singer? I sing, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> well, if you know, if any of you know the musical scale, I would say, like, um, I mean, falsetto is a different story. I can, I can get up there with falsetto, but, like, I would say probably the, my highest, like, belt would be maybe an A on a good day, A flat, high A, A flat. Um, other than that, I don't know. I, I've, I've worked over the years, I've kind of worked on, on, uh, on developing like a, uh, a high like um, a head falsetto mix where I can, I can, on a good day, I can get up there and float it around. Right, Robbie? That's right, Gil. <laughs> well, high range, Gilly. Why'd you guys change shirts? Your shorts. You change shirts because of my shorts? Yeah. You told us to. You, you didn't have to say it. Your knees spoke volumes. We went backstage after you, after you said it was the wrong idea. We cried. We had a little bit of a did cry. The, did the fans oh. vote on who wore it best? No, but I, I wouldn't have won that anyway, so <laughs> that wouldn't be a shocking loss. The band, um, the band voted. I, I, I put on the gear as a way of saying, see, you can also wear it if you look like this. <laughs> An alternate frame. Richard. Richard. Oh, Richard. Oh, alternate Richard. frame. Oh. Uh, hashtag, who gives a crap? Oh. Anyway, um, how was your very first panel in Hawaii? How did it go? <laughs> was I the first? You were the first. Oh, first. man. It was such Shoot. a delight. I wish I would have known. Now, listen, this guy's going to be on stage. Uh, to, are you coming tonight? Are you part of the karaoke thing tonight? Richard. You are. Great. <laughs> You're just going to say you Richard. I am contractually obligated to be here. It will be <laughs> that, and then tomorrow night, this man who has a Broadway-level singing voice will be singing with this band on stage. If you don't have 
We don't have his album, How Was I To Know. Are you selling that here at the show? Are you selling your album here? Yes. I uh, still got to figure out when uh, that's going to be uh, happening. But probably tomorrow, later in the day, or uh, Sunday, I'm not sure. It's a chart-topping uh, record, and it's awesome, man. So uh, Thank you very much. Get yourself. It was, a, it was a pleasure to say aloha to you earlier, but now we must say aloha to you. Oh, that's I know. Right. <laughs> Can't wait to beat that dead horse. Ladies and gentlemen, aloha. Gil McKinney. I gotta say, he had a great voice. Him turning around and doing that in, in those shorts and those shoes, I suddenly felt like he was the, the you know, the bad guy in Tough Turf in 1984. Like, I, I just feel like he, he just, it seems like he's playing the jerk in like a John oh, really? Hughes movie. I got the feeling he was selling Hawaiian real estate. By the we way, had a different vision. Which is usually a jerk in a John Hughes movie, much the same. Um, all right, so in life, there are many, many answers, unless the questions are simple. And in this case, it's simple. It's simple because there's only two answers. It's real basic. Isn't it, Stuart Norton? Let's do it then. Test. Song. I know, right? So I never get a chance to do it. Well, see, this is Hawaii. This is green trees and putting green. It's all new. What's well, always new again? Release your inner Steve. That's what I say. All right. Thanks so much. Let's hear it for the boys. Right, Come on. Steve and Mike. Rich. Oh, now it's gone. Yeah, this 
just want to say to everyone who was here just now, well, that's everybody. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> anyway, that uh, Hallelujah is actually uh, on the Station Breaks album, that kind of version Woo! of us doing it. If, so if, I don't even know if we have it here. We usually don't. But it's on iTunes and whatnot. <laughs> All of it's on iTunes, and uh, and as well as Jason Mann's CDs and his whole collection is here. I know you're probably not going to do Hallelujah again, but if you do, it should be Mahalaluya. Because mm. <laughs> a good idea is a good idea, Bobo. You know, the Saturday Night Special is coming up tomorrow night on Saturday night, which That's is uh, aptly named. Um, it seems to me that in hindsight, you guys probably should have created a live album version of that concert. Well, we did. Well, you should burn it into CDs. We did. You should sell them here. Thank you. We do. Jason, you're an idea man. I'm telling you, that's why you're the pointy end of the bayonet. I'm telling you, we have a CD called the Saturday Night Special. It's all Saturday Night Special live music featuring uh, yourself and, uh, and, and, and Brianna and, and Ruth and, and uh, Jensen Ackles. Yeah. Jensen Ackles? Kim From the Kim television Rose. show Supernatural? All these people. Oh my gosh. You know, funny story happened at the airport yesterday. Um, someone came up to me and was like, he saw us in L.A. too, and he saw Rich and I here. Rich and I Rich went off to, I, to get to make a phone call, get in my bag. This guy goes, uh, hey man, you, uh, the, the guy that was with you, is he on Supernatural? <laughs> and I go, um, yeah, 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 he is. He's like, because I've seen, I knew it. I knew it was him. I've seen every episode. <laughs> I'm like, every, every single one? All of them? Uh, the way Rob told the story yesterday, the guy's like, I'm just, I'm a super fan. And Rob was like, are you? <laughs> like, really? So Rob went to the bathroom and came out in a bathrobe and uh, had a plunger and some toilet paper. Like, are you sure? <laughs> um, so now it's, it's break time, Robbo. What? It's time to unplug Mike and recharge him. It's time for the band to do cocaine. Break time. It's time for the band to do cocaine. Just another Tuesday. They don't stay awake because they give a crap. They're too old to go home and take a nap. The band's going to do a big bump of cocaine. So we we'll back with everybody. And uh, Mike Borha, Robart, 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 Mike Barber, Robart, Mark, Robart, Bart, Barber, Robert, 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 Robert. and uh, and me, Rafford, Bert, and me. Um, aloha, everybody. <clears throat> Borja, aloha. Borja, aloha, everybody. Borja, aloha. We're about to say Borja, aloha to our next guests. And they are not bass players, and they are not at Starbucks. Are they backstage? <laughs> they are backstage. We're going to say Borja, aloha to people. They're not at Starbucks. They're not bass players. But they are the stars of their own show, the Super <laughs> Today. Too many it's coffees. Too many coffees. What's that, Rich? Nothing. Good to see you. Rich. Rich. No, let's hear it again. Capital R A T C H. Rich. My mouth is full of gummy bears. I bet it is. That's what she said. That is what she said. Me. Sorry, Jordan. Are we bothering you? you? I'll try the field. Get the fuck out of here, boys. Bye, okay. everybody. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.
Sad mic. Sad mic. I mean microphone, not mic. I can put it back together. I have the technology. Oh, Here's someone asking a question already. while I'm fixing things. It's going very well. Aren't you glad you came? Hi! Hi. Thank you for healing that for me. You're going to see these ladies sing with this band tomorrow night. They're both phenomenal singers. And they start their own show. It's time for photographs, it's time for pie graphs, it's time for charts, it's time to settle your finances, it's time for all the busy work. Lots of graphs. Graphs, graphs, graphs. I'm doing some autographs, Robbie, are you? I'm doing autographs. All the cool kids are doing autographs. Photographs. Maybe some photographs. And then, and then, you go home, you hydrate, you have a bite of food, you put on your outfit, you come back here for karaoke. <laughs> Friday people in the house, great day one! Oh, hello to you all! We will see you in a little bit!
Meaning hello. <laughs> not goodbye, not I'm a bass player, not I am in Starbucks. Simply <laughs> Borja Aloha to all the good people here. How many of you are one of my fabulous Friday people? How many Friday people in the house? <laughs> well done. How many of you are just arriving and you are a Saturday person? How many Saturday people in the house are there? There's four. <laughs> I don't buy it. Well, there's a small <laughs> table for four. Yeah, all the Saturday people are having dinner together. Well, welcome to the thing, man. I have a question. Can I ask a question, Mitch? Sure, have at it, buddy. How many people here actually live in Hawaii? How many people of those people were actually born in Hawaii? How many people of those people are from parents who were born in Hawaii? How many people of those people whose parents were born in Hawaii have grandparents who were born in Hawaii? How many people of those people whose parents were born in Hawaii, whose grandparents were born in Hawaii, love spam? There we go. I hate it. My inbox fills up with it. It's so terrible. But hey, whatever. I didn't know you could cook with it. Um, here's the deal, everybody. It's just, you know, I feel like yesterday was about releasing our inner Steve. Today I feel like it's just a Jason Man Saturday. Everybody just chill out, relaxed. Nothing's gonna happen bad. If it does, we'll fix it. Let's just chill out. It's Honolulu, man. Is there a doctor in the house? Is there a doctor in the house? I mean, there's, it's just a relaxed... I mean, you know, this song, the band usually comes, the band usually comes out here on some kind of drug-fueled frenzy. They usually are fighting backstage. They take the stage filled with angst, pent-up rage, probably sexual frustration, not my department, but you know what I'm saying. Robot Mike's doing robot cocaine. No, I'm just, me, I'm just, just he's a robot furious. <laughs> He's a, and he's a real real butthole when that happens. It's a thank you. Um, <laughs> but like you, you, I see somebody set you on. No, not funny. Okay. Um, anyway, the point out is they come out here, they do this rocket number and burn the house down. I come out here just screaming and yelling, rolling around. We'll punch each other. I mean, shit goes down, man. Shit goes down. And then uh, this whole Hawaii thing, man, it's like. Got a little Jack Johnson. It's like, there you go. Tomorrow, Jared and Jim's take the stage. Instead of the Beatle mania that usually ensues, it'll be like, I don't know. 800 people going. <laughs> Jared and Jensen. Mahalo for those tight pants. <laughs> Mahalo for that fabulous hair. <laughs> My freaking hollow. Mahalo for those bow legs. <laughs> Mahalo. Mahalo for all that lumber sexuality that just arrived in my island. <laughs> special shipment. Lumber sexuality. Hey man, where do you want this lumber sexuality? Honey, did you order anything from Amazon? Hold on. Whoa, it's lumber sexuality in the box. They have arrived. Mahalo. Got it with the prime today. So great, man. Free shipping. Mahalo for all the fabulous musk pouring off the stage. Mahalo. For the creepy, quiet guy in the pervy trench coat. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's like there's no 
there's nothing gonna go wrong, Baba. It's gonna be a great show. It's a very special Saturday night special. Very special. And when I say a very special Saturday night special, it sounds like it's gonna be a sad one, like a TV show, or like it's a very special episode. No, I mean it's special, but it's the not gang special. goes to Hawaii. No, it's not, it's not. This is not. It's special. It's special like the Brady Bunch going to Hawaii. It's special right. like like when I was Saved by the Bell went to Hawaii. It's that kind of special. It's hugely entertaining and special. It's the VSSNS. God willing, Screech will make an appearance tonight at the Saturday night special. I, if Zach Morris and Screech take the stage, I may just I may lose it. Richard will be jumping a shark. I tell you, maybe in my leather jacket. I'm very excited. And very thank excited. you to all those that got that show. You know the term. You know the rep, the term jump the shark. Jump the shark. Do you know the origin of jump the shark? Yeah. Now I know you know. No, I'm saying yeah, I just made the and people. There's a couple of young people that are like I don't get it. It's Fonzie, man. Mahalo. Happy days, bro. Happy days. Happy days like we're having right now. It's a very special Saturday night special going to happen tonight. Very special. It's going to happen on a great lawn. It better be a great show. The lawn's already called it. No. It's not called the shithouse lawn. It's not called the drop the ball plaza. It's got not called jump the shark lawn. It's, no, it is not. It's not called the bass player didn't show up, so we got to figure out what the fuck to do now. It's called the great lawn. Which means we gotta be great. We gotta bring it. It's a very special Saturday night special. On the great lawn, the great outdoors. <sighs> so many great things, man. Living trees, putting green, great outdoors. Tons of weed backstage. Much weed. Right? It's a rock and roll show. I mean, literally, there's some weeds. I've been <laughs> weeding all morning. Yeah, we'll be out here later with our gloves and our spade. <laughs> You know, cleaning it up. How many of you, well, there's only four more people added to the unit, so I don't know if we're really going to ask these questions again, but, well, sh you know, for shits and giggles, how many of you are experiencing your very first supernatural convention? How many you got? <laughs> well, mahalo. <laughs> I mean, there's just no way to get stressed out. If something, if something terrible happens, Rob, we're gonna be like, oh man, something terrible happened. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> oh well. Mahalo. Or haloa. Anybody want anything from Starbucks? <laughs> this is so awesome, man. We got such a great day. So many great people showing up. The, the show tonight is gonna be ridiculous. And you folks who have assembled in this great hall, and it is great. I know, I talked to the lawn. It's a big fan. <laughs> Anybody here attend a little function that my strapping pal and I like to throw on Friday nights? We call it the karaoke party. Anybody show up to that? Level? Anybody enjoy yourself at the karaoke party? Good singing. You know, Matthew Cohen, you can wrap that kid in burlap, he's still gonna be the best looking one in the room, but I'll tell you this right now. It's hard not to look creepy, the crab claws. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can put that on a t-shirt, and I bet you will, Red Bubble. It is, Matt looked like something out of a horror movie. I mean, he's a handsome guy, but he's like, next to the mic, and you're like, ah! These giant red crab claws. Says the guy who bought him crab claws. And, <laughs> says the guy who bought him the crab claws. Hey, listen, man, I just bought the crab claws. I didn't say where. That's classic spade right there. But then at one point, he took the crab claw off and overturned it, and we all got to watch the cascading sweat just pour Whoa. out. Did we not? Did we not? They were really, really sweaty and really warm. We got backstage, and they were also uh, delicious with warm butter. <laughs> I ate Matt's hands. <laughs> That was real close. Let me tell you something. You've, you've wanted to take a big lick of ice cream cone for a long time right now, and I got, I got the, I got the mitts. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a big hearty helping to Matt Cohen? I tell you what. Absolutely. You know what happens when I get a big heaping helping of uh, Matt Cohen? What happens? Mahalo. <laughs> long way since yesterday when you thought oh, Mahalo meant hello. Hey man, I don't know, it didn't really matter. 
this is a much better day. I mean, yesterday, I don't know what happened on stage. I, I was here, but I don't think I did this. I don't think it was me. But there was an awful lot of talk about Steve Norton's excrement yesterday on stage. I don't think I brought it up. I don't think I fanned those flames. But somebody rewind the tape, because Rob had a lot to say about Steve's poop. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. I'll take that. However, we classed it up today. Now really it's all good. about Mahalo. Uh -huh. And Bohaloha. And the Great Lawn. It's the Jason Mann. It's the Jason Mann's afternoon, baby. It's the Jason Mann's Saturday. It's the doctor You're gonna cruise house. through it. And you get to do this whole thing. You get to ride your whole trip, your whole journey, leading you toward your destiny through a gentle rolling sea of fiscal irresponsibility. <laughs> oh, hey, don't mind if I do. Well, hey, little fish, I'd love a vinyl picture of Misha. Here's everything I own. Hey, is the fish selling the poster? Glub, glub, glub. Hey, you want to get this autographed picture of Gil? You know I do, Octopath. <laughs> so all, those, all the fish animals. I know, buddy. It's crazy down there. The merch room's underwater. What? I did not know the merch room was underwater. Yeah, water. buddy, it's awesome. You gotta go over there. <laughs> to the loud and flaming area. Later on, the band's gonna be playing a couple songs in the merch room. I guess we better bring our uh, scuba gear. <laughs> yeah, you better. It'd be, it's gonna be like... <laughs> Got my trigger finger. Keep it up, keep it up, baby. That's exactly how trigger finger goes. It will, it will be when you're in the room and it's underwater and it's all about Mahalo and, you know, cheating death because you're underwater, playing guitar and singing. That's how it is. You're floating on your sea of fiscal responsibility, spending your money, dropping clowns. Because that's what we call money in the sea of fiscal responsibility. Very, very confusing. <laughs> You're dropping clams. You're dropping, clams. You're dropping a lot of clams. I'm an octopus. You're dropping a lot of clams. There's more than one there, octopi. More than one octopus down there, Robo. There's not, a, there's, not a, there's not a death warrant out on octopus. There's not a, there's one left. There's okay. a bunch. So the octopi. Octopi. Are, they're, they're, they're selling Gil McKinney autographs? They're selling, they're selling Gil. They're moving some, some Swain items. They got the Jared Jensen and Misha. Like, come on now, you know you want a tree of photo box. <laughs> Get in on this. Come on now. Cost more than your first car, but worth it. You can't hang your first car in a cubicle. That's true. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't, you can't show Nana your autographed first car. <laughs> no. You can't sleep with it. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Hold on. You meant to think that. Oopsie daisy. I'm going to go back underwater. <laughs> this is right now. I think the great thing about this whole weekend is not only have we just chilled out, Probably on narcotics, enjoying just a very relaxed Honolulu convention. But we're doing it all with the dulcet sounds of Los Angeles indie sensation above and below water. Loud Swain over here to my left. I'm going to introduce the boys in the band because that's what I do. But I'm going to do it from under the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, on the drums, <laughs> Mr. Steven Norton. On bass and guitar, a man who rushes every time he plays underwater. No one can understand what I'm saying. Robot Mike Borja over here in the bass guitar. Playing the 
six string made of seaweed. Standing in a room full of seashells. Our very own merman. <laughs> he swims up to your boat, grabs your spouse, gives you a wink, and disappears into the depths. Years later, when you see a bunch of guppies with beards and glasses, and a starfish with a shitty attitude, you think to yourself, I know your daddy. On the guitar, it's Billy Moran over there. aquatic foursome of man who controls all space, time, land, fire, wind, and of course the water. It's God himself. It's the Rob Bernadette over there. Is our first guest here? Nope. <laughs> this is how relaxed we are. <laughs> we didn't bother to bring the actors to the show. But at this point, ah, you know what I mean? Aren't we the first guest? Well, we're two, th we're two thirds of the, of gotcha. the guests. So we, the, we, we got R2, but uh, we don't, there's, there's an APB out on M, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're missing the body. Yeah. <laughs> we got the brains. <laughs> We're missing the brawn. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna leave stage. The okay. band's gonna play us on. Uh -huh. We're gonna start our panel. Really? Because you know, TikTok, Bubba. TikTok on the TikTok. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, we got a show to put on tonight. That's so true. When he shows up, he shows up. Yeah, man. And when he does, he'll have some explaining to do. Yeah. No. He's gonna get. I'm gonna give him lots of shit about. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, without further ado, we'll be back. <laughs> Highest jumps I've ever seen. Hope someone got a picture of that. So two is a magic number, and then one is an absent asshole. <laughs> As he is, because he blew off the panel. Well, in all fairness, he needs his beauty rest. It's, uh, I'll get to I've seen Matt Cohen this morning. It ain't Matt Cohen. I think the machine didn't work right in terms of pickups and drop offs. Oh, it's Matt Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> Always blame the hot one. <laughs> Oh, listen, I'd love to chat with you, but uh, we got to get to business. Let's okay, first questions. question. You. <laughs> That's a tricky one. Yeah, let's, you yeah. know what, we'll just start on the other side. Can okay. we? Shit. Um, um, hmm. uh, if I was a tree, okay. I would be a... Yeah, Robbie, I mean... If, I'd be a fern. If you could, uh, what's your, what's your, who would you play on the... I would be Misha. <laughs> I read about this in the manual, but I never thought it would happen to us. The worst people ever. <laughs> ah, yes, ma'am. I actually had a question for three of you, but it well, five. Oh, thank oh, fuck. It wasn't just for Matt because. Um, All right. A 
few years ago, celebrity voices on GPS used to be a thing. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering what a GPS would sound like with three of you, but now two of you <laughs> doing it. Well, there's one small snag. We're not celebrities. So it would be total silent. <laughs> so, I, I, I think... Okay, yes. But to answer the woman's question. Okay. I would say uh, there'd be a lot of arguing. <laughs> uh, a lot of Rich not listening. No, I don't think that's the case. You, you're Johnny Ways. You like to do the whole thing where you don't, where you don't fight, hit traffic. So I think, I think you were to be, it'd be Rob going, <laughs> turn left here, Rich. Rich, Rich! <laughs> going straight, Bobo. Straight as, he, straight as a crow flies. Exactly. God damn it. We caused so many accidents. <laughs> No, left here, left here, no, I'm not gonna do it. And they try to program like, you guys aren't telling me where we're going. Will you stop touching the buttons? We're trying to sort this out. <laughs> you know what, pull over, pull over. And uh, Matt wouldn't be any help at all because he would be late, so. But he'd be on the cover of the box. Yeah, he'd, he'd, get, he'd get all the royalties. <laughs> you. Uh, Rob, is there a song that you've wanted to sing that you've never gotten to, either a Saturday Night Special or really anywhere else? Yeah, Rob. A Loud and Swain song or a cover song? Either. Or. Uh, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, Did we... oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> he's a quiet voice. He just woke up. <laughs> he's got, oh, he's got bad head. Right. <laughs> Let's get to this. To be thing. honest. I, the reason I'm late, I was on the beach with Moana and Maui, and we were partying. I forgot that we had. Aww. Aww. Hey, Cute. It's, it's nice to be here. Disney, it's the best. Ladies and gentlemen, excuse. Matthew Cohen. Wait. Drums. I gotta say, in your absence. In your absence, we did a pretty good mime version of you doing that. Did you jump off the chair? No, we just watched Invisible You do it. <laughs> it was you, pretty good. You know, there's lots. That's pretty, that's, I like it. All right. What, 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 you've thought about this, you asked the question, what law would you ignore for the day? What would you do illegally? Stalking celebrities. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Perfect! Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Benedict, Matthew Cohen! Richard Smith Jr. And me! Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. What's happening now, Richard? We just have a boatload of people coming on stage. Yeah. Hey, Matt, go see if they're ready, okay. and then let me know. Um, we have just a ton of people. We, we just rounded up. It's a grab bag of talent coming to the stage. Um, well, are they back there? Matt? Yeah. Are they, okay. Yeah. Are you back? So, this is the thing. I hope you're, you've you got this. It's like ABC's, you know, Battle of the Network Stars backstage, backstage. We've run out of chairs. Yeah, well, the dudes will stand. So this is the thing. We have a lot of people, but they're only taking questions about episodes they've done together. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Brianna Buckmaster, Ruth Connell, Kim Rose, Gil McKinney, and Osric Chow. Just the <laughs> Just the five of us. Five of us. I missed Just it. Just the five of us, guys. We were Just scrambling. The they were like, a whole bunch of people coming out. We're like, who, what, who, what, what song? So many people. Just the five of us. Good choice, you guys. Hi, everybody. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Oh, it's good. good. Gilbert, you wore a Hawaiian out. shirt. Sorry, Richard. <laughs> nice. Check it out. You yeah. jealous? <laughs> you see, he's angry about you it. You seem happier than when you wore the shirt you hated with Borja on it. Jeez, yeah. That really ticked you off yesterday. I think it's a good shirt. Hi, Matt. It's great. It's a, it's a great shirt. I want a Borja shirt. I want a Borja shirt. We've got one for you. Okay, you go on. Okay, good. We'll get you a Borja shirt. I still got the tank top on underneath. Yeah, listen, no. And, the, you. and you, you still have the jorts on under the jeans? Is yeah. That, okay. oh, I, I heard about those jorts. Oh, man. Uh, I'm leaving stage. In a good stage. way. In a good way. Bye, Oops. everybody. What other way? Bye. 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 Later, guys. Okay. All right. Now that they're gone. Oh yeah, you guys are ready for it. What would we talk about? 
Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't remember five. the last time we had all five of us on stage. We've been five deep. I don't oh. think we've ever done this. And never. Rob's back. That never been Rob's back. Six, Rob, got a quick joke. Got a quick Rob, joke to our friends. What do you got? Stay. What do you got? Stay. Come on. Come on. Stay. Come on. Stay. Come on. Stay. Come on. Take some questions. What's okay. that? You got a quick joke for us? Oh, no. Oh, no. I've been, I've been saying the wrong thing all day. It's been amazing. <laughs> I went, uh, 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 I'm not, I'm not even going to get into it, but they're really great. You're going to love them. And I'm going to leave the stage because there's two. They've had so much of me already this morning. They need to digest. Okay, I've got a joke for you. Okay, my, my friend taught me this joke, and I'm really bad at, um, you know, you're staying. Uh, I'm really bad at uh, um, clean jokes. Uh, and I thought, oh, I have to remember this one. I have got to remember this one. Um, how many optometrists does it take to screw in a light bulb? How many? One. Or two. Or one. <laughs> or two. Ah. That was so right. clean. <laughs> so clean. That was so clean. It's so clean. <laughs> I was like, I have to remember this one. I only know the worst jokes. Going straight. Oh, I got a story to tell you guys. I tell you, before yeah. I forget. And then two seconds later, you're like, oh hell, I messed up. Because two years ago, Ruth offered me whiskey at my first convention, and I was 16. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. If you remember me, no. In Scotland, it's considered medicinal. <laughs> For babies. We feed that shit to babies. Love it. I'm always the one that gets shit on about the booze, and Ruth is plying it to the youngsters. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Um, I'm still know. sorry. I'm still sorry. It's okay. I, uh, Wait, was the mistake Ruth giving it to you or you drinking it? I asked what was in it first and she said, oh, it's whiskey. And I'm like, I'm 16 today. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And she was like hugging me and it was like right in the middle of karaoke too. I was, I was when I was dressed, it was Thelma and Louise. With yeah, it was Oh, oh right. right. And I, I had a hip flask. It was like, a couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That, was my um, first con, that was my first con. Yay. <laughs> And yeah, that's, I started strong. Started out strong. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up on the prairies. I was like, I didn't have whiskey, but I... Never mind. Um, no, I don't... Like, nothing that comes... I'm sure there have been, but I will have, you know, repressed that embarrassment. But I'm pretty shameless. <laughs> Want to see my tits? Um, no, I know. I know. No, it's too early for that shit. But yeah, I don't... I can't. Probably, but I can't think of anything. How about you, Giller? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. So many things. No, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think I make pretty good decisions for the most part. I did put a banana in my unitard at a uh, karaoke oh, one night. Oh, yeah. Walked down on stage and immediately was like, yeah, it's probably not a good decision. <laughs> I told you you should have put two bananas in there. <laughs> that way no mistakes could be made. <laughs> Clearly, woke two bananas. The, woke up the next morning and looked at my Twitter feed and was like, oh. I, I remember. I remember. It looked too real. <laughs> but two bananas. Osric, remember that time that you and I traded outfits? Yes. That was last year. Oh, yeah, that was San Francisco. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't regret that. Yeah, no, I don't no, care. That's right. That was great. Um, what about you, Kim? Oh, like every five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> that's how my brain works. Like, yes, 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 yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I just block them all out. I just call it life you can't now. can't dwell, yeah. What can you do, man? Fucked up, move on. Yeah, I think I, I try to put myself in those positions. Just, just in this last month, I, uh, two in particular stick out. Uh, one, I was in New Zealand, and I woke up this morning, and I'm like, I need to jump off the sky tower thing. And so I just woke up, put on shorts, and, like, went out the door, and I went to the sky tower. And I, like, before I was, I knew it, I was, like, standing, like, 200 feet in the air looking over this, this edge, and I had to, I had to jump. You were attached to something. Yeah, I was, I was attached. Let's clarify that. Yeah. Make that okay. clear, okay. Okay. Did you need the toilet? I did, and then everything, no, but I was wearing a jumpsuit, so everything stayed in. Um, and, yeah, and I did that, and, it, you know, it was, like, a very freeing sensation, but it's the anticipation of, like, oh, my God, I'm watching these people jump from this. What am I doing? And then just last week, so I, I, the reason why I'm having this ukulele, in New Zealand, someone told me to go to this open mic night, went to this open mic night, I saw this person playing the ukulele, I was like, oh my god, I want to play, like, I want to learn the ukulele. 
And then the next day I went and got a ukulele, and then I'm like, I should play at the open mic night. And the next week I went back and I played at the open mic night. And I, <laughs> I was so nervous. I'm like, why did I sign up? Now I can't say no. And then I went up there and I played like the song that I spent a week learning. You're amazing, um, Osric. You're on fire. Well, I mean, like I know, like all of these things that I, I always regret up until the point that I just finished it, like I know that I hate that moment, but I appreciate the moment after. And so I, knowing myself, if I don't push myself to do these things, I'll never do anything, right? And I know that I'll never, I almost never regret these things. Um, if I peed in my jumpsuit, I might have regretted it. But, but I think that this is the only way that I know how to, to live an adventure. So usually I sign up for things, like snorkeling, parasite, and all that stuff, before I can like think myself out of it. And then I'll end up doing it. You are the originator of one of my favorite, favorite life muse sacred Buddha quotes, which is, without fear, there can be no courage. Yeah. He told me that, which is why I sing at Saturday Night Special now. So proud of you. I still remember the first time you did that, Kim. You know, I was so proud of you. <laughs> Saturday Night Special was definitely one of the first, like, the scariest moments as well. I remember doing it. I remember watching Matt do it for the first time. I remember Kim doing it for the first time. I remember Ruthie doing it. I remember seeing the concert uh, the first time at that time in Vancouver and seeing everyone come off the stage and I, I, st I said to myself, I will never do that. <laughs> I remember all three of them telling me that they would never do that <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> and then they did. Are you all going to come to the concert tonight? <laughs> and I remember Gil and Brianna just knocking our socks off from the get-go. <laughs> they can sing their pants Yeah, off. they can sing. So good. Singing a song he wrote tonight. That's right. right. Which, love that song. Which, love it. Which, by the way, I try not to listen to because I, I can't hear it. I can't hear it without it gets me. And it's um, I love it. It's, I, and I, I, I was singing it in my house in LA uh, this week. It's so good. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. Um, I, I remember the first time I sang at a convention. You came out with me. I sang John Legend's All of Me. That's right. You said. Like, oh my God! I was mesmerized. Day. Getting like you look at him and then his voice starts and like what? Everybody's like Gil singing to Osric. <laughs> yeah, you were. So amazing. Don't tell me anything different. <laughs> I remember the first time I sang a Saturday special. It was Chicago, like a year and a half ago, and I sang a Tom Petty song with uh, Rob. And I remember him going, "Oh yeah, let's sing the song." I'm like, "Cool." When we rehearse it, he's like, "Oh no, we don't do that." He's like, "Ah." And so I remember singing it, being really nervous. I didn't know the words, so I was like looking at the iPad the whole time. Just total rookie moves. But I remember coming off stage, like off these little stairs here, and Jensen was there waiting for me. He was like, dude, that was awesome! And I was like, that was the most endearing thing I'd ever seen him do. It was very cute. Oh, Brianna, you're going to love this. So the first time we ever heard Brianna sing karaoke, she started... The rest of the guys just retreated backstage like, oh my god, she's gonna stay, she's gonna stay. And they just started like shower phrase on you behind your back for like five minutes until you're done. It was great. And and your yeah. album, your album will be being done soon. Soon, yeah. yeah. I think Listen, I, now I have time to focus on that. Can I put I sometimes put fifty pence on things. It's that means it's a serious bet. It's like Wait, almost fifty pence. It's, all, it's not even worth it. It's, it's not a lot of money. It's just something I do when I really think something's going to happen. I'm like, it is going to chart like proper chart, right? We're gonna, we're gonna. It's gonna. That's my fifty pence. You're sweet, really. No, it's thanks, happen. guys. Thank it's you happen. all. Thanks for your support. <laughs> and thank you for your question. What was the question? I can't remember now. Anything we regret I regret it two minutes later. I, mean, I just, I regret it. Every time I speak, I regret it. Like, I regret just let everything Four I just minutes. said. I feel, gotcha. I feel really um, embarrassed. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, give it to me. Shameless over here. I'm going to start talking about my boobs again. Shameless Go in the ahead. corner. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um, Hi. I was just curious, so far, being in Hawaii, what's been your favorite thing in Hawaii? Peeing on a turtle. <laughs> It's pretty good. I, we, I haven't had much time to like, I literally landed and came straight to the convention. So, and then was here until, you know, midnight and then went to bed. But I woke up this morning and I was 
I was grumpy because I had insomnia and I had jet lag and I was freaking tired. And then he opened the curtain. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> we have like I was, I'm like on the 21st floor and I, you know have this big balcony and it's this unbelievable ocean view. I was like, oh yeah, I'm in Hawaii. I'm not in like you know Moose Jaw, which is where I'm from, so I can say that. Um, yeah, so it's 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 beautiful everywhere you go. It's beautiful. Yeah, and seeing the look on my daughter's face when she saw the ocean yesterday morning was really cool. Because I played Moana for her for the first time the other day, and then we brought her here, and she's like, Oh, oh my God, it's real. <laughs> That's what she said. Her first words. <laughs> I'm kind of a big fan of the sassy birds. <laughs> like, there's chickens that are just like, That's right, I'm a fucking chicken. Do they talk? Holy shit. They do. They're sassy. And Ted, at Kimbrough? Ted, who was flying around in here yesterday, he was like, that's right, I'm inside, I'm not supposed to be. Yeah, Ted. Ted poop on anybody? I, not I was so I worried of. that he was going to poop on me during my autos. I was just, I'm just a sassy bird poop right there. Didn't get rotisserie. <laughs> that you know of. I was worried about it. Uh, well, apart from peeing on a turtle, I, I got to take a tour group out uh, to see the island a little bit. And we stopped at, and yeah, shout out to everyone who came. We, we stopped at Valley of the Temples, and I think that was my favorite thing. It was just so peaceful, so serene. They have this giant bell that I rang a lot. Um, and it was just such a nice area with, like, I guess, stray animals running around. I have two favorite things. Um, one is this. I'm really enjoying this. And I was like you, I'm so jet lagged and insomniac that I was a bit nervous and actually I'm really enjoying this. But um, yesterday I went to the ocean and I just stood in the water and the little fishes were swimming about. And um, Hawaii was one of the first ever places I was brought to in America, ever. I was nine years old, so sort of like 15 years ago. And, uh, <laughs> So it was really nice to re just, I remember to have the same memory and see the same, probably a different fish, but the same type of fish. <laughs> just for fish. No, it's the same fish. Did you say hi to them? I never used what they talk to, like the chickens. <laughs> and I didn't give them a golden shower. Missed opportunity. Yeah, next time, like next time. Yeah. <laughs> Billy, Billy, Billy's like, like, come on, I, I, I would have done that without a the, second thought. He walks in the golden shower comment without knowing where it's come from. There's a golden Why shower comment in every single answer to that. <laughs> yeah. So, Why did you pee on a turtle? Right? That's what you missed. And Osric started it. No, Gil started it. I just peed on a turtle. Osric. Osric just peed on a turtle. It was Gil that made it. Exactly. Uh huh. Okay, so, um, good talk. I don't know what the hell happened, and neither do you. You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Brianna Buckmaster, Gil McKinney, Kim Rose, and Gil Me, I'm one. Four years rich. Ah, uh, good stuff. Hawaii, rock solid. Great stuff. And uh, where? What's happening now? Well, now the fun comes to a screeching halt. Uh oh. Because now it's not about listening and laughing. It's about competing. Oh, it's about boy. going head to head. And somebody is going to come out the winner, and the rest are not. It's real simple. It's the costume contest. Just a second. What the hell? What do you mean? The fun comes to a screeching halt. And there what he the is. Fuck? The it's fruits serious. of darkness. It's All hail. Comes to a screeching halt. <laughs> For God's sake, give me a break. But in a good, in a good way. I'll tell you something. Rich is There's insane. nothing funnier than when you come on stage after we sing. <laughs> Listen, you can slam me all you want. I love you guys. Give it up for them. Come on. Come on. Give it up for them. It's all good I just love. don't think you should kill the contestants it's for this week. all good love, man. I love you guys. It's so funny. Okay. We go on at uh, 7 30. We do? Mahalo. Say thank you for walking. Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
any other words. I, I live in a hollow, and I'm so thankful for my hollow. I always say mahalo. Mahalo log. Mahalo. Mahalo for mahalo. Mahalo for mahalo. <laughs> so you can hold around with the pig and everything? Yeah, they can hold around with the pigs and everything. Cool. Have you ever read the book The Legend of Sleepy Mahalo? <laughs> It's the Hawaiian dwarf. Uh, why didn't we think of that? Yeah, it's a new one. We could have Keep doing that thing that you do, because it's pretty cool. Anybody here new? Anybody first time at a convention? You're a guy, that doesn't count. Anybody here new, yeah? New people? Look around you, you will make friends, whether you like it or not. These people will get to know you, you will get to know them. That's half the fun of this. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I will see most of you, unless you're all Misha fans, um, at some point during the rest of the weekend. Thank you so much. It's been a joy. Love to you all. Have a beautiful and wonderful weekend. Mahalo. Saturday. Grab Good dinner, eat some water. Have a great day, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Just getting word. What? We've got. Uh, oh, we've got one other guest. Uh, they're saying it's, it's going in and out. It sounds like Michael. Michael Bollins. I'll tell you this. Our next guest. All he needs is a van with tinted windows to go with that trench coat and he'd be America's favorite pervert. Put your hands together for Misha Collins! that I have singing Angel by Aerosmith while you whip me <laughs> with the homemade Hawaiian lei. It's not just some kind of fantasy. It's a very specific fantasy that you've been talking about for a long, long time. time. It was. It was a very specific fantasy. And now it is a gift. Dear Diary, it finally happened. I can assure, I can assure you that is a moving image that exists right now and is being shared with family and friends alike. Um, Misha. Yeah. First trip to Hawaii? Stop. That's creepy. It's, it's funky, right? It smells like licorice. No, no, no. Now it doesn't. <laughs> I think those I are mean, your fingers. That, uh, that's a present for me. No, Misha. First trip to Hawaii. Have you been here before? Have you have you been to the state of Hawaii? Yes, I have. Well then, poo on you because that makes it not interesting. No, no I have not. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah. So, have you done anything? You've just gotten here, like, you just, did you? Um, well, I'll tell you, uh, I have done very little. Okay. I had, uh, I had dinner last night with Rob. All right, that well that's, I did. that's um, so that can be any given city. It was like, t sort of torture, trying to, you know, extract conversation from, from the group, but, um, it was, um, that was the highlight of the trip so far. Well, just be, just be glad no members of the band were there. That would have yeah. ruined the, <laughs> ruined the yeah. night. We're just um, running to a screeching halt. <laughs> um, also, are you going to do anything? Are you going to tour? Are you going to do something, anything exotic? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> You're a real, real I'm like, I'm like wet rag, man, I tell you. Um, I, I, I've been to Hawaii a couple of times. In the, in the past, uh, we were in Kauai. And uh, has anyone been there? <laughs> And we went, we went and we hiked out the Nepali Coast Trail. Yeah, um, has anyone great. done that? It's so, it's so, so, it's one Amazing. of the most beautiful hikes I've ever been on. It's about 11 miles out to the end. Um, 
we were with a big group of people. Uh, there was like seven or eight of us, and for some reason we started late, it got dark, we didn't have flashlights, so we ended up just sleeping out on the ground before getting to the destination beach. Then the next day we walked to the beach and it was like walking into paradise because there's this community, or at least when I went, it was like 10 years ago, there was this community of hippies that lived out at the end of the trail in the, the national park or state park or something, and they lived in the woods. And they lived off of the wild goats and the fish and they were all naked, so you walk, you get to the beach. Rewind like, that. They were doing what now? They were wonderful, and so you got I heard naked. I didn't hear wonderful. You I heard the, nude. You get to the beach, and there's all these, you know, naked hippies roasting a goat, and it was just amazing. Is that a euphemism? Yes. Uh, and then the rangers came up in a in a boat, and everybody scattered into the woods, except for us. And they're like, "Hey, what are you doing here?" We were like, "No, that's not our goat." <laughs> What? That's not... That goat meat on my face is from another goat from before that I brought from home. Um, so that was cool. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm not naked. That's not my body. My pants happen body. to have a phallus on them. <laughs> so it just makes it look like I'm naked. <sighs> Good stuff. On that note. Misha Collins. Um, <clears throat> I feel like we got off to the right start for this particular audience. I understand that some of these panels have been starting a little blue, shall we say. I apologize for that. I want to be very upfront with you. My, my act up here is very squeaky clean. <laughs> okay, so uh, my, uh, let's, let's back up for a second. My mother-in-law is in the audience today. <laughs> And I just would love it if you guys would confirm how squeaky clean and above board my performance usually is. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him, you're going to pay to get your picture with him. Misha Collins! He's not photographs with me, there's photographs with them. There are lots of funny things happening. And then, those of you who are wise are going to gather outside for the Luau and the Saturday Night Special that truly will be like no other concert we have ever put on. I'm hoping you're going to make it. I'll be there. You be there. Friday people, Saturday people. You're doing it, everybody! This is awesome! See you later tonight! This, well guys, this show doesn't move forward. Not one further thing happens until you do what, what you do oh. with them. Oh, right. I'll be backstage listening. Okay. So here's what's happening, guys. Jensen and Jared are about to take the stage. But they don't come out until you show them how much love and passion and energy is in this room and sing this song with me. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> 
guys are running a bit behind. <laughs> this hasn't happened since a Philadelphia show, 1976. <laughs> what else we got, boys? Huh? Oh. Eskimo, I haven't heard Eskimo. Huh? This is a good one. You like this? Surrounding islands, please a big borhaloha to Ginger Eagles and Jerry Padalecki. Hi guys, I think I've never jumped in my life and had so many lays hit in the face. Don't, don't, don't start. Uh, too easy. Yeah, that is low hanging fruit is what we call it. How dare you? Or in Jared's case, got in a seat already, right there. We're like, we're gonna have to ask you to delete that photo you just took of him. I know you will, because in, you in Jared's want case, it's pretty high hanging fruit. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, everybody. It's been a great weekend. Thank you. All right, it's official. They're yours. Have at it, Hawaii. Enjoy, boys. Hey, real quick announcement. I have an announcement. If you see your name on the screen right here, we need you to get up to this side of the stage because.
is our want. We are going to go ahead and, hey, can we bring the lights up a little bit in the room? I just want to see our supernatural family. Do we have good talk? Some good house talk. lights? <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Shows up in a poll I have. No. Is, is right. Stephen Norton uh, well, covering the lights? <laughs> no, no. Hi, guys. See y'all. Yeah. shadows and silhouettes. So, we have a last question. All right, better be good. Okay. Um, so, I've heard you mention before that you get a kick out of that uh, meme that shows the different hairstyles of Sam, you know, yes. where that Sam's and Dean's is always the same. Yes. So, I know it's heavy, but when the show's over and you're no longer contractually obligated to keep your hair the way it is, are you guys both going to change your hair up? Oh. Good question. Ackles, you want to start this bit off? Yeah, I'll probably. Oh, yeah, I'll probably steal one of his wigs for a while. Um, I'll probably change mine up a bit. I don't know what that's going to be, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably. It's it's been the same for quite a while. It'd be nice to change it. Are you ever going to cut uh, that? I think I'll probably main... steal your wig. I'm going to go full mountain man. No shave, no cut, just full on. Or I'm gonna steal Jensen's wig. That's right. Steal Jensen's wig. I saw. Uh, thank you. Hey Jared, do the one again about Jensen's wig. Steal Jensen's wig. O for four. Yeah. O for, o for like eight. Uh, Thank you, Hawaii, very, very much. Um. Before we say goodbye to the boys, is Steve Norton's last show with the band, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure, buddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of Hawaii and the surrounding islands, Ginger Angles and Jared Pell.
That was a good panel. Good stuff, Gordon. It's usually Robbie and I are backstage staring at the wall, and we're actually laughing and engaged during that panel. It was very funny. Good stuff, Norton. Um, we're worried about Norton's life. I just feel like I feel like people in the room enjoyed that joke. I wonder how the people online will take it. I don't know. <laughs> people online are given to taking sides in these situations. <laughs> Hashtag fire Norton, maybe. <laughs> Why Drummers Hate Padalecki will be an article that they released with some top drummers from the business discussing the pros and cons of being Norton. Um, it, that was super funny. Uh, so listen, this is one of those days, usually we roll out the boys, uh, they do their bit, we take them backstage, take off their toupees, deflate them, and we move the show to the next town. But we, uh, we have a bunch of other people coming out. Robbie, I don't know. I don't even know what's happening right now. I just know that a bunch of other people, including you and me, right. are doing panels That's at right. some point. That's right. So Bobo is going to go find out what's going on, and I'm going to stand here awkwardly. Richard? Yeah. We have an uh, intermission situation. Oh. We have a half hour intermission. We're taking a break so the band can do their drugs. <laughs> Yeah, we're taking a break so the band can do their drugs. They gotta snort the coke and gotta shoot up, and they'll drink something creepy they pour in a cup. Oh, it's time to let the band take a break to do their drugs. We'll be back in a little bit, everybody. Yeah, wait, we're trying. Hey, guys. I like that. Yeah. We, they're talking about getting Lauren, uh, Lauren Tom. Do you remember Lauren Tom? Of course. She played my mom. Yeah. She could possibly be wayward, trans. Oh yeah. I mean, like, like same name. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. She's. I mean, what a great woman. Yeah. What's going on out here, guys? Hey, Mark. Oh. Is there a thing? Uh, yeah, Rich. We're just uh, still hey, doing, still doing the thing that we do. Actually, hey. Uh, request for you guys. Okay. Re remember when uh, when Gil did the. the well, it was like humping my Baymax. Yeah. Um, so from my perspective, I actually didn't really see it or understood what was happening. You guys had front row seats. Can you ex can you tell that story? Well, when a when a uh, a man and an inflatable doll love each other very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're he he was humping you. Yeah. See, I I had no clue. Like what I know of it, you guys told me. Well, you were inside the suit, standing there. And oh, I thought it was Gil so, for a second. No, no, I'm like, no. oh my god. This is perfect. <laughs> this is perfect. So now, Osric, you be Osric. Right. Mark, you be Gil. So, Osric, you're standing there in an inflatable suit, minding your own, and Gil, you come up and start giving him the business from behind. That's... <laughs> that's what happened. I will not... This is... This is... <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I paid a piece with words, kid. So... Essentially. <laughs> By the way, next time somebody says you be going, Kenny, I know say no. <laughs> uh, but truly, that's not even a setup for you, Mark. Yeah, there you go. You're giving the biz night, and then all of a sudden, Baymax starts deflating, and you start flailing around like one of those inflatable guys at a, at a gas station, like Robbie's doing there. And from the wilted fabric that once was Baymax comes a short t-shirt clad Osric Chow, like a phoenix from the ashes. That's, that's the part I remember. Yeah, exactly. It birthed Osric Chow. So in many ways, we got to see Inception mm -hmm. and Conception mm -hmm. and it all in one big phase. Yeah, I guess, the, I guess the gestation, if a gill marries a Baymax and gets Baymax pregnant, the gestation period for the baby is about 30 seconds. seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then out comes in a full-grown Osric Chow. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's what happened. Ah, oh, I'm I'm a product of Dark Gill. <laughs> that's how you go what? That's how I got my Osric. <laughs> we all have one. Um, uh, so there you go. Now you're all grown up. Uh, now you know the truth. And Gill is your father. It's like a bad Star Wars thing. <laughs> it's a bad something. Ladies and gentlemen, Osric Chow. It's getting 
weaker and weaker. It gets weaker and weaker <laughs> as the weekend goes along. I like that. That was such a great shepherd moment to have Mark come out here and, you know, everybody's excited. And, and we're like, okay, so he, he did not hear the setup clearly. Like, B. Gill, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Like, that wasn't even. I said that was such a great. I said that was so. That was so funny having you out here and not know the Gill story we were ramming into. So funny. I know that was that was magic. That was fantastic. I, you're hard to surprise, my man, and we surprised you with that. I wasn't sure that that actually surprised me. Well, that's then. That's another problem. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but actually, that makes it Gill's problem. Yeah, it really does. Come on, y'all. Um, all right. Well, so next uh, to the I, stage. I was thinking, I was thinking when we said that Gil is Osric's father, yeah. like him having to tell Osric that, can you do that? No. <laughs> Wait, so I'm Gil, and I've got to sit down got, with Osric? Uh, never mind. No, no, I've got to sit no, down with Osric? It's over. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, say, he'd say, you know. It's not the first rule of improv that uh, Richard just gets to say no. Yeah, Richard yeah. doesn't do yeah, so improv. I'm trying to think of like, so I think... Gil would probably demand a you maternity You do a fun Gil. I was just going to do like, I'm your father, y'all. I'm your father. <laughs> yeah, the way that Gil would say it. That's what I was going for. I'm your dad, y'all. Richard Spade Jr., everybody. <laughs> um, all right, so we have to... The, the next on the stage is... It's a big surprise. So, uh... Don't tell anybody. It's a surprise for you guys, Are you tired of us yet? Yes. <laughs> the band's like, Sweet. yes. <laughs> this is just like the last thing that happened. Yeah, I know. I don't know the story. Well, we're doing a panel now, but <laughs> it's this is a it's, chance. What? It, it's that a intro? Yes. Well, just now. I mean, I don't know. Well, we had to Sir, introduce how do you how do you introduce yourself? Like it's a, it's a hat on a hat. I'm so -and -so. <laughs> no, they, That's what we did. The people pay money to see us come out on stage. Well, I think they pay money to see other people that That's we bring true. out on stage. That's actually true. I think we're the caulking that uh, fills in the gaps. But like you're here, and people we're love here. caulk. I mean, you know, people. They're, they're, hey, they're, 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 a lot of call clubbers here. Have you guys been doing this all weekend? Yeah, that's what we do. We don't like. We don't want to be cocky, really? but we think we do a In good job. In all fairness, you're not our demo. <laughs> <laughs> do we? Score half a point for the wee guy. <laughs> no, that's me. This is becoming the weirdest. <laughs> the drums are going off. I'm on fleek. Help everybody, I'm on fleek. This is my theme song. I actually think that's Rowena's theme music. This is this new fusion jazz band I have. It's our new fusion jazz concept album. Classic Jared, Misha, classic Jared, Misha, they're never together, I don't know, I can't really see a Jared, Misha style, but like, the second you sort of like the song, like, they're there, I'm like, really? Um, but, but Misha was moshing backstage, he's very energetic, he's very alive, he's very excited, very excitable. I think what it's the, uh, talking about? I just, you know, 
Can I tell you really quickly, because I know yeah, he's yeah, yeah, limited here. time, then we're going to It's actually leave. kind of our panel, so... No, I know, I just want to tell real quick, Jared. It's just a real quick thing. Okay, Someone said if, if, if me and Rich could play Freaky Friday with you and Jensen and switch bodies for the day, right? What would be the first thing you'd do as them, and what would you be afraid they'd do as you? And I had you, we decided I'd be you. Fair, that's fair, that's fair. The hair, I, the, was, the beard. Well, not even that, man. Just to be fucking tall. <laughs> it was so awesome. I was, like, I, just, I was so excited about that idea. You know what I mean? Are you... Are you kidding me? I will never, I will, I would ne I will never as an adult know what it's like to drive a smart car and not feel cramped. <laughs> what I would give. That is so sad. I said I want to be able to talk to somebody like this. <laughs> Play basketball like for real. When they're not sleeping, just <laughs> on the ground. Right, exactly. You always can. You always can just walk to somebody taller and be like, hey man, what's up little guy? <laughs> hey buddy. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I said, what by would I... By the way, by the way, nope, I'm not going to go there. Yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. Good. no, no, go, go, do it. My, Think, well, it's always a good idea to go there. And the thing I'd be afraid of is with you as me that same day, everything. <laughs> Dear God. Um, I, anyway. would love, I would love a day in the life of Rob. You would be wanted by the FBI for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd, 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 be a bad, it'd be bad for you. Yeah, no, it would be really bad. To be, able to, to be able to walk around in the forest and see the underside of mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Dude, the idea of being able to just see you later. No, no, keep going. I mean, what? But I like I for Misha and I, we have the far side, that aisle, this aisle, that far side. But to be Rob and just run under the chairs all the way up in the case of a fire, yeah, it would be safe. Yeah. You lose a flower for that one. Uh, I deflowered myself. <laughs> Hi guys. How was that possible? So that year, uh, this friend of mine uh, what actually was on a Gishwas team, and he made a Jensen. He never watched Supernatural. I had no idea, but he made a Jensen Ackles uh, mosaic portrait in Skittles, and he's like, yeah, I thought, you know, I'm certainly not going to hang this up in my place, so I thought you should have it, and I was like, oh, thanks, and I stuck it in the closet, and then Vicky was like, uh, a few months later, she's like, um, we have to get rid of that, uh, the, the gentle Skittle thing, because uh, rats are eating <laughs> the candies off it, and it's attracting rats. Uh, which it's I an think attractive was, thing. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? Ah, oh, boo! Hate you. Hate you. I'd go for a little music. So they they, they turn so quickly. What? <laughs> they, the what? audience? Yeah. No, you're just coming out to, to add a little flavor, right? That's right. We're just adding a little flavor. That's all we're doing. That's all you do. Um, I gotta find my microphone. Okay. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, man. How's it going? What are we doing? 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 I told the story in our panel about. Jensen, you know you're winning. This is my face when I'm winning. This is my face when I'm losing. This is my face. Is this Jensen? charming man to play cards? Is that with? cards? I, yeah, I recognize cards, Jensen. Yeah, it's cards. No, charming man to play cards with. Real delightful. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't, Rob was on my team one time playing cards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was there. How'd that go? He hit me in my arm. <laughs> and I looked at him like this and I go, not, not me. <laughs> right? True story. Not me. He, but, uh, he, he made a wrong move. <laughs> so I punched him. <laughs> 
and with just the most intensity, he looks at me and goes, not me! <laughs> it was like, not tonight! That's not happening! <laughs> of all nights, on our special night! It's not going down that road today, Jensen! <laughs> Not on my watch! And I instantly was like, no, I respect that. <laughs> it's not so much better. But then again... That is a bit butcher than your version, which was more along the lines of, not me. Yeah, yeah in all fairness, everything I say sounds like, not me. Uh, you tell a great story, Jensen. But it was the first time that you literally... Hey! Not me! And yeah. I was like... All right. Yeah. Just trembling inside. At least you got... It could go one of two ways. Um, you tell a great story. Then again, you have perfect ear canals. So I wouldn't expect anything less. Do you guys know that story when uh, the guy came out to measure his ears for these? Oh my gosh. But, oh, yeah. Not only do they we know hate the story. that story. <laughs> They know the story, they're over it. <laughs> uh, so we have a special treat for you. Rather than have the band waste their precious energy, Jared Padalecki is going to play you off. <laughs> Jared, play that song you wrote for the boys, and Rob will sing. Boys, well, you the smooth stylings of Jared Padalecki. <laughs> See? 